So, okay, so actually I am not so familiar to such kind of presentation because I am <laughs> always the, <laughs> it was the scientific presentation. So I tried my best, so by using, uh, within one hour, it's very difficult to explain the uh, culture of any country. So just I will try. Uh, this is a, actually a pictorial presentation. So maybe it is easy to everybody to understand. Okay, so let us start. So uh, this is the sakura, and uh, this is one kind of tree in our country. It's in a, uh, uh, this is it's Krishna Chura, so it's uh, the, the flower. So the geographical location, so you know, so first I want to introduce, this is very important for, to know this one. Initially, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. The three uh, countries are the one country, initially. So you know the Pakistan and the, uh, Bangladesh. So Pakistan and Bangladesh, so one is the divided into the two countries. One is the India, another is Pakistan. The Pakistan has two provinces. One is the East Pakistan, that is the present Bangladesh, and another is the West Pakistan, this is the present Pakistan. So this, it is very funny that 2,000 kilometers far away, the two provinces, and inside the, all, all the, uh, the land is the uh, Indian land. So we have some, because when this division was have, held, so depending on the religion, in uh, Bangladesh and uh, Pakistan, the max maximum uh, peoples are Muslims. So the, that's why the division was like this, not, the, not based on the language. The most important, if the Pakistan language is the Urdu, and uh, in uh, Bangladesh, the language is the Bengali. This is the another problem. So let us start. <coughs> So this is the overview of Bangladesh. The official name of the, is the uh, People's Republic of Bangladesh. The area is 147,570 1, square kilometers, about 40% uh, of Japan. But the population is very high, and uh, 161 million around. The capital is Bangladesh. The language is Bengali. The national flag is uh, the red circle inside the blue. Uh, 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 green, because the green means the, the land is green, and the red means the Hawaii separated from Pakistan, well, we, we gave a lot of blood. That's why there's the symbolic, the, um, the, the flag. Means yeah, because three, 30 million people died, yes. People. yes, yes. Okay, so next, the climate. The tropical monsoon climate, not snow like this Japan or other countries. And the currency is the 100 taka is equal to 135 Japanese yen. Okay, so we have the, you know, the, the country is very big compared to, now it is small, but uh, in the historical, if we see the history, the Indian subcontinent is together one country. So, it had a long history. So we had found some the three to four century BC. So that means 2000 years, more than 2000 years ago, we have some, got some palaces, temples and forts. Uh, recently we found. And uh, then in the 12th century AD, it was the Muslim periods. And the 17th century, it was the economic being, oil being. And uh, 1757, beginning of the British colonial rule, because British, uh, attack this country and they fight and they own and there's around 200 years they dominated the country. And then 1947, when the British back to the um, England, so they divided the country into two, two parts. One is the just I previously I told you, one is the India, another is the Pakistan. So one is the East Pakistan, this is Bangladesh, and another is Pakistan, is the West Pakistan. And then 1971, emergence of Bangladesh. So that's why I, previously I told you that 2000 and more than 2000 years uh, ago, there are some constructions. So this, these are the uh, uh, Mahasthangar. This is the Buddhist, some uh, uh, palaces like this, 170 rooms over there inside this. This is the third century BC, and this is the recently, maybe the 10, 15 years ago, this is discovered, and it was found there's this kind of, and this is the bricks used to this one, and this is the bricks to build up this one. And 
these are the, the stone like some, some household things that are made by this kind of stones. It was found inside this construction. So the history is, uh, another is of 1952, when the Pakistan, the East Pakistan and West Pakistan is combined together. The Pakistan, West Pakistan uh, language was Urdu and East Pakistan language was Bengali. So the, the, in the power, the majority was from West Pakistan. So they don't declare the Urdu will be the state language. But in our uh, East Pakistan, that means Bangladesh, the people talk about in, in Bengali. So the, the students of our Dhaka University and some others, so protested them. So the army shoot the, through the peoples. And here several, around, around 10 persons died. So this is the first maybe example in the world. So someone who sacrifices their lives for the language movement. So, and, and then in 1999, so the uh, U.S. Assembly, U.N. Assembly uh, recognized, and uh, UNESCO also recognized this day as the International Mother Language Day all over the world. So every year now is celebrated. And then uh, another one is 1971. The 1971, we got the uh, s separated from Pakistan. So actually, I made the mistake that not 30 million, it's 3 million. So in 25, 5th March night, the Pakistani army suddenly attacked to the general people. The only one night, they've, they've killed 200,000 people. Just children, women, and they're just, uh, they are not soldiers. They are the general people. They want to smash the, of the country, the people, so like this. So in the university's teachers, and the leaders and other th they just he, actually he was the leader of uh, the Sheikh Mojibur Rahman, so he was the father of the nation because he fought against Pakistan, and uh, for them, so this is the people's that times, so they make the war, and uh, this is the Matrias memorandum they are prepared for them the, uh, on the memory mem to memory uh, memorize the. Uh, the, the, the persons died in the war. So after nine, year, nine months fight, so Bangladesh owned the war against Pakistan. And uh, in the world map, so it's a small country started as Bangladesh. So in, just I show the, in 1971, the population was 66.2 million. Uh, literacy rate was 26%. Life expert expectancy was uh, 47 years only. GDP was 8.7 billion. GDP per capita 113 USD. And foreign reserve almost nil. That was in the 71. Now, the population is around 161 million. Literacy uh, rate is about 72. Life expectancy was uh, 72. Total GDP one two hundred eighty six billion, and GDP per capita seventeen hundred sixty, and foreign reserve is thirty three billion USD, and economic growth is the uh, eight point three one in the fiscal year of nineteen uh, two thousand eighteen to nineteen. So in our country, the, as I told you, the the most uh, in all over the world, I, we know the four seasons. So in our country, we have the six seasons. Six seasons means every two months makes one season. So this is the uh, mid-April to mid-June, it is the summer. And the next two months is the rainy season. This is the autumn, and this is the late autumn, this is winter and the spring. Actually, we have not so strong wind, uh, winter because our temperature may be the lowest temperature around five or some, it's uh, usually never five. Maybe eight to 10 is the maximum lowest temperature. The, this season makes, uh, this is a small country, but fertile land and plain land. We have not so much mountain area. So the major part of the people are the farmers. They, they have a lot of agriculture and foods, and they produce the, by using the seasons, 
So we have many rainfall, and by utilizing this, so we, we cultivated the land and uh, grow a lot of fruits and fruits like this. So just I want to, uh, one day I, I talked to Sensei, uh, Sensei about our rainy season. So I want to show this some. This is the rainy season, the too much rain. If you check here, this is the hailstones, a very big size. And uh, sometime, uh, actually the rainy season, the water, we pre preserve the water to cultivate all over the world, uh, year, because we have many big rivers. We preserve the water, and uh, in the winter, when the dry season, so the people use this water to cultivate their, uh, their agricultural uses. So when it, it comes like this, that the damage the crops and other things. So the, this is the, some flood area, it, sometimes. So the rivers of Bangladesh, we have many big rivers. So this is the river, not, not the sea. The weight of the river is the about 8, 10, 12 kilometers. You cannot see from one side to another side. This is a very huge river. And the depth also very like the lake, 130 or several times, it was maybe several kilometers depth. So the major river is the Podda, the Magna, the Jamuna, and the Ganges, Brahmaputra. Almost all of them, them are started from Himalaya. So it flows through India, at sometimes Tibet, and through Bangladesh, and next to the Bay of Bengal, in the, the fall into the, the, we have only one sea. So it falls to the, um, the Bay of Bengal, the main sea. So this river water we can use, this is the very sweet water, so we can use for cultivation. So the farmers use this water. This is the barrage, this is a Tista barrage. So they protect the water, and this water they use for cultivation. This is the cultivation, and this such kind of very, if we, if we search for the under, underground water, it, it takes a lot of cost. But it, by using some pipes on just some small machines, they can uh, uh, irrigation do by this kind of small machines, so it, they can produce a lot of crops. So although the rivers are the heart of this country, but sometimes it makes huge damage. So for example, so when the lot of rain, because due to Himalaya, we have many rains, very strong rain. In the rainy season, two months, almost every day, it's huge rain. The so rain is essential for crop production, but uh, sometimes the flow of, uh, cur the current of the water in the river, because I, as I told you, there are huge rivers. You cannot control that, or, or you cannot uh, make the bank. So this is a very big, sometimes four steer, five steers building that just, just goes to damage out. And this is the damage. This is the roads and highways, just sometimes just, just crashed out. And this is the scenario of the uh, flooding areas. So at that time, many rich people suddenly become very poor because they're all lands, homes, everything goes through the river. We have many examples like this. Anyway, so just uh, today is the cultural presentation. So the culture of Bangladesh refers to the way of life of the people of Bangladesh. It has evolved over the centuries and economic. So the cultural diversity and social groups of Bangladesh are many. So I just focus on the music, dance, festival, uh, archaeological and uh, sports, foods, and lifestyles. So first, uh, the folk dances and drama. So just nowadays, uh, the Western language, uh, sorry, Western dances, Western music are, are available. We have, but the, the folk dances, so these are the, we have many um, poets and uh, uh, lyrics, lyricists, who prepared this one, they are just, uh, uh, this is the one kind of dance. Some dance are influenced from the India also. So dance also, you know, different classes. So I actually, I, I'm not sure that actually the, this is the classification detail, but uh, this is the, I often we found. So some, this is the dance, this is the dance, this is one kind of dance, this is the drama, 
are like this. Uh, we have the cinemas or movies like this, but this is the, our own culture. This is the traditional uh, instruments and there's the folk songs. So you know the, the Tagore, the, who is the Nobel laureate in Bengali literature, uh, from Bengali, Bengali, Bengali literature. And he's another popular poet. They, have, they wrote many songs also. Not only the poet or uh, novels, but they have thousands of songs they, are, they are prepared. So this is the one kind of, uh, you know, rural area. They have many poets. They make their or music so like this, the, which is heart touching. And uh, these are the flute that made on made by bamboo. And this is their own sum, Yaktara, this is called one, one, one only um, uh, wire. So this is uh, some, this one. And this is the, the traditional, this is a one kind of drum. So these two persons influenced on our um, culture too much. But recent days, we have many bands and the Western uh, drums and uh, other instruments are available and guitars like this. So religion and the festivals. So in our country, so actually we have many religions, four major religions. This is the Muslim, Hindus, or Buddhists, and Christians. So the Islamic, uh, the Muslim people is about 90%. In Hindu, about 9%, Buddhist at 0.6, and the Christianity is at 3.37%. And also we have tribal, tribes. So the tribes live in the, uh, some mountain area, but actually they live over there. And they have their own culture. They have own music, own dance, and it, it now combines with the, our general peoples. So this is the, uh, the festivals like this is Bengali New Year. This is the 14th April. Uh, Muslim festivals, Ramadan and the Eid. And the Hindu festivals, major, this is the, these are the major festivals, Durga Puja. And both these festivals is the Maghi Purnima. This is the, the, the birthday of the Buddha. And the Krishmas festival is the, you know, the 26th uh, December. So during the new year, so actually we reflect all the people celebrated our new year by our own culture. They wear new dress, the, they took the festoons and different kinds of uh, and these are the, their dances, and uh, even the foreigners also join to this kind of march. So Islam is a state religion, but each religion has equal status and equal right. We enjoy national holidays during all the festivals. So these are the Muslim, the, after the Ramadan, so we go to pray, this is the pray, play, pray ground. So thousands of people get together and uh, hug each other. So this is the Hindu, this is the Durga Puja, and this is the Buddhist Maghi Purnima, and this is the Krishmas. So actually, in each festival, each uh, religious people invited others. So we have many harmony. So we join to the other religion, religious festivals, and we also invite other peoples. So we, it's our, we, we uh, actually enjoy the festivals as a common. So traditional Bengali weddings. Weddings, actually, this is the Muslim weddings. So they wear the different kinds of sari. It was the long cloth holding the, uh, uh, about 20 feet long. So, and the, this is the natural uh, leaf. So they make their colorful hands or the decoration. And this, you have many steps. So the marriage ceremony, usually it takes several days. And this is the Hindus. They are the firing, some doing some prayer, and these are the, the these kinds of, they are wearing the dresses. And this is the uh, Buddhist, and this is the Krishnas. And the sports, if we, the sports is the heart, is also influenced our culture. So the kabaddi uh, is the, our national sport. 
Kabaddi in Japan also very popular. They maybe in Olympic they also took some medal. So Kabaddi is our national, and the, of course the cricket and the football is the most popular sport. Recent days, so uh, our actually uh, my country uh, progress very quickly in the cricket. So this is the almost similar to the baseball. So this kind of ground and uh, this kind of they have bat and uh, they have this kind of ball. And uh, this is the as you know the we have the many rivers and in summer. So the farmers actually, the rural area, the people don't need to do anything because they actually spend their time in the, in, the, in the cultivation. So they have many free time. So they arrange this kind of boat racing. And we have also this rural area, uh, they have the bull, bull fight. So this kind of bull, they, uh, they uh, take care of whole the year. So they have some, uh, Every area they have some this such kind of fights, so they have some medals or like this. Actually, foods and cuisines. So Bangladesh have many kind, different kinds of foods. So recent days, usually the uh, Western foods are available, but uh, our main dish is the rice and the curry. Even the, it is the rice curry, uh, sorry, fish curry, it's meat curry, even vegetable curry. And uh, the peoples actually eat rice three times per day. But not only small rice, they eat huge amount of rice. You cannot imagine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so the one bowl rice they can eat like this. And um, uh, the different area, well, it looks like the same type of curry, but actually the different area has some different uh, the spices used. So uh, this is the some spices, and uh, these are the different kinds of uh, mixture. And the, this is the rice. Actually, this culture comes from the Mughal, the uh, when the Indian emperors, they are very luxurious lives, and they they used to many kinds of fruits. So this is the uh, heritage of this kind of culture. And this is the sweets. The all kind of sweets are usually prepared from uh, milk, major, major, the main ingredient is milk, sugar, and also there are some, some other ingredients, uh, side flour or this. So different kinds, there may be a hundred types of different kinds of sugar, uh, this kind of uh, sweets and the desserts are available. And then, this is the handmade sweets and desserts. Because um, in the harvesting season, the, the farmers, when they just cut down their, especially we produce rice per year three times. Not uh, usually it's two times is common, but we also three times per year. So after harvesting, they have much rice and flour. So like Japan, so you sold out all the rice to the government, but in, in our country it's not needed. So they preserve their rices. So the, and then they prepare different kinds of this kind of handmade, this is handmade cake. Uh, and this is also rice flour, the rice powder. So they, they produce this kind of, uh, and invite each other, and they enjoy their times uh, after, the, after the harvesting season. And the uh, fruits. The fruits, uh, fruits is actually uh, in the summer, we have many fruits because the land is actually very fertile and any kind of fruit, any kind of trees can grow up. So this is the jackfruits. This is, the, or this is our national fruit. And uh, you know that every, every home, they have some fruit trees. So one tree, it produces hundreds of jackfruits. So they can eat and distribute to others also. And uh, mangoes. Uh, the, in our country, we have the many different kinds of mangoes, and different tastes, different flavors. You can find maybe more than 20 categories. Some, several, someone small, someone big, even one was one, more than one kilo, like this. And also the bananas. Bananas also different categories, different colors. You can also get more than 20 categories bananas, even delicious also. The lychee is a red color, and it's attractive. 
So if, if you see, so always if you would want to eat it. And this is the pineapple. So the hilly area usually, in the hilly area we have, we have lot of gardens. So they produce a lot of pineapples. And this is the papaya. The papaya is a flatland we also get. And uh, this is the guava. Uh, among these, so we have several other fruits. Maybe it's not common, but uh, many, many, many kinds of fruits are available. And also these are very cheap. The watermelon and uh, another also available. So one kilo mango, I know the Okinawa mango is only one, is one more than 1,000 yen. But maybe you can get one kilo by one, 100 yen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, I escape my lunch, I eat the mango. <laughs> and uh, we have the convenience shops. So in the city area. But uh, in the city, we have some uh, open market. So this kind of, uh, this is the open market. So these are uh, in the closed close area, but uh, this is the, just I, I want to show the culture. The, the peoples are just waiting to buy, and the, this is the, uh, from his, this is the, the vegetable, or, and others they have, and this is the fish market. So several peoples just, you can see, the fishermen are here, they just catch the fish. Actually, in our country, we eat the river fish because we have only one sea. So the southeast area, so south, southwest areas, people are very near to the sea, so they eat the sea fish. But other people eat the river fish. These are the river fishes. So actually, the rivers are also very big. So these fish are also delicious. Uh, so this kind of open market, we can buy this one. This is the city market like this. And this is the village market. In the village, the, they are just uh, in the ground, in the market, some ground, and they just sit down on the ground. So these kinds of vegetables, this is the potato, 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 different kinds of potatoes. And this is the, some fruits. These are the system of the, in the village or the rural area. So they, we have some, this, these kinds of markets. <coughs> Actually, if you want to visit the city, you can enjoy the, uh, enjoy the culture. So if you want to know the uh, actual culture, you have to go to the, uh, the rural area, the village. So these are the, I just uh, put some figures from the, some, the typical village, the, the make the homes by heart or tin or some concrete like this. And these are the village, this the roads or some things. And these are the rice field. So if you see the only the in the harvesting before harvesting or after, so only the you can see the fields of rice and other other crops. In the in the um, rainy season, we have lot of uh, water. So these are the the actually these fields under then under goes under water. So these kinds of water lily and other flowers you can see. This is uh, also looks very beautiful. And some area. They have no, this is the re, a river, right? So this is river, in the uh, winter, it becomes dry. So behind the, beside the river, they have the roads. But in the rainy season, just there goes underwater. So the, this, is the, oh, this is one kind of market, you know? This is the, the floating market. So flowing marks, this is the, everybody has some small boat. So there goes, if some they need to buy, so they come here, so just, uh, they just sold, take this from here. And we have also the, this is the shrimps, the very big kinds of shrimps. This is the, uh, some areas that produces the shrimp farms and the water uh, fish farms also. And uh, Japanese, or many Japanese comp uh, company also, they are uh, cultivating the shrimps and the, the takes it from the, they, they go there to observe the, how do they prepare and any contamination or present or not, they, they monitor. And uh, sometimes uh, the two, three shrimps, one, about one kilo. This is very, very big shrimps. 
this is the, uh, the countryside area. And uh, we have some traditional cloths. So people are using the, usually the Western cloths, but we have also some typical, uh, our own uh, uh, clothing system. So this is the down on pajama, and this is called Punjabi. And uh, this is the lungi. It is uh, just, uh, you know, the Malaysian people also use this kind of dresses. And uh, this is the just uh, under shirts. We use this, the sendo. Uh, this is called Genji. And uh, these are the typical dress of Bangladesh. The, this is the salwar kameez. And this is the sari. And this one sari is just folding, covering the whole. It's also it's a little bit difficult to wear. But uh, it is around 20, 20 feet long. So this is the clothing. This kind of clothes, we have the hand, handicrafts. <coughs> handmade. This is a very thin, and they produce by, by handmade these things. It's very attractive for this. For example, the two workers are preparing this kind of handmade sari. And this is a different color, and I, I, I visited there. Actually, it's very interesting. So I cannot imagine how they pre select or how can do the prepare. And this one is the nakshi khata. The women are actually uh, involved such kind of the sewing, so they are the hand, by using hand, so they are, they are prepared these kinds of the, the cloths. In the, on the cloths, they prepare these kinds of decorations. And this is the, the, the potteries, and uh, these are the, actually, this is the jute products. In our country, we can, we can produce a lot of jutes also, jute fibers. You know, the jute fibers are the biodegradable, and the polythenes are prohibited recent days. So polythenes makes a lot of contaminations and uh, uh, pollution. And uh, so jute is bi biodegradable. So recent days, uh, some scientists you know, from our country developed the polythene from jute, biodegradable, biodegradable. And these are the jute products. So we have the very old history about the handicrafts. From the, if, if we go to the several hundred years back, so we can find very thin cloths we can prepare by hand. This is the transport system. Well, usual transport we have. So the, you know the, the plane, cars, bus. So we have the, no, our own vehicle is the rickshaw. This rickshaw is a Japanese word, but uh, in Jin rickshaw in Japan. But uh, this is also a typical short distance if you want to go. So actually, this, these are the rickshaw. Uh, this, this is the uh, um, four-stroke engine, three-stroke engine. Uh, this is uh, used by CNG. So for example, it, 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 uh, sometimes one car, only one person ride, but it, it occupied a lot of spaces. So for example, that's why though, this is the commercially, it's a government influenced the peoples to use the small vehicles for, to go somewhere. And um, these are the sea water. So you know the river is the dominated uh, in our country in several areas. So they're very big, big rivers. So in the river, in the winter also they have a lot of water because the depth is several kilo, 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 kilometers. So this is the small boats. Just the, the, maybe they want to go from this side to this side. They use this kind of boats. But these are the for several, several hundred kilometers. The usually I, I, I also I have the experience. This is the four or five, five store storied ships. So it's smooth journey. So if you want, because that some areas they don't have the railway lines still now. You can go by plane, which is expensive. But these are the for common people. So if you usually they use in the night, never in the daytime. So ever uh, around. Uh, Evening seven or eight, you can ride on. In the morning, you just uh, have a good sleep and you can go back to the. This is the Dhaka city. It's the horrible gem. So, <laughs> constantly have some experience. That time, this kinds of uh, overbridges are constructed, but now it's finished. But still, now, lot of cars. 
But the almost all the cars are from Japanese cars. More than 90% cars are from, imported from Japan. And this is the, especially the office hours, we have, we face a lot of jam, traffic jam. And uh, still now the traffic system is not systematic. And next come to the, our uh, own field. So a system of education. So education is the, usually we have some three kinds of education. One is general education, and is a madrasa education, and another is uh, vocational education. So you know the peoples of our country, not all uh, solvent. So some peoples, uh, especially the rural peoples, uh, uh, they are not so rich. So in education, they have need to spend uh, much money. So they have, sometimes they not, don't have the ability. So general education is this uh, the which, which we are belong to, and madras education is the you know the the Islamic peoples, the they just uh, uh, depend on the basis of Quran, the Islamic education like the, the but they combine to the general education, only the not only the Islamic education Islamic education, and together with the English or uh, and vocational is the. Uh, that uh, some technical, so they they uh, we we need to produce many technical persons. They don't uh, take the higher education, but the technical education they give them some the opportunity to the job yeah, early, early age. After they maybe after the uh, high school, uh, they just uh, take the vocational training for two years and they go to some uh, company for job. And the higher secondary, it's so a primary, the general education, the primary, secondary, and tertiary. The primary is the common, so this is the free of cost. And the secondary, we have also the junior secondary, secondary, and higher secondary. So uh, from the grade six to eight, and uh, eight to 10, and uh, 11 to 12. This is the higher secondary, that means the high school. And then we go to the tertiary stage. So the tertiary stage, the number of university teacher and the student by the um, uh, type and the gender. So the number of university, type of university, public universities, we have some private universities. The number of university public is 42 and private is 103. And uh, teachers, around 1,300 like this. A total this one, uh, among, among them the female teachers are like this and, uh, uh, um, and the female percentage and the total like this students. So if it's uh, the girls is 37 percent in the public university and the higher university uh, almost rather the, uh, 37 percent is the male, female and uh, uh, others are the boys. This is uh, just a scenario of the, our higher education. So next I want to introduce my university. This is the University of Dhaka. Uh, this, uh, this was built on two, uh, uh, just 100 years ago, 1920. This, uh, the today is, is just uh, we are passing the 100 years. This actually, this was the, uh, that, that time the army, uh, sorry, uh, British colonial role in our country. So that time it was produced. This is uh, Lord Carjon. Also, this is the take their initiative. And uh, this person, that time was the emperor. So he, the official, this kind of members of the Nathan commissions. So initially it was called the, uh, um, you know, the, uh, Oxford of the West, east of the Oxford. It's called, it, it, there's curriculum based on the Oxford University because the, uh, that time the um, British colonial rules over there. So the major founder of the university is Dhaka Nawab Bahadur Sayyad Nawab Ali Choudhury. Actually he is the main founder. He gives a lot of lands to produce the, and the funds to produce this one. And uh, he was the, P.J. Hartog was the first vice chancellor of this university. 
So we have some residents, uh, students residents among their names. And some, some legends, legend from the University of Dhaka, the father of the nation, the Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and Nobel laureate uh, Dr. Muhammad Yunus, and the scientist uh, Satyendranath Bosch. He is popular for, he was the professor of the physics department, um, and uh, he's famous for his Bosch Einstein theory. He modified the Einstein's theory at that time. And this is the Bosch. And uh, this, next, uh, the Muhammad Ataul Kori. He's the executive vice chancellor of the University of Massachusetts. It's present. The University of Dhaka, so if we compare the, in the, from the very beginning, the, in 1921 and the, at present, so that time the faculties were only three. Now we have 13 faculties. Departments that time 12 and now 83 departments. And teachers that time were 60 only and now around 2,000. Students at that time were 877 and now around 38,000. Halls of residence for the students. It was three and now it's 23. The institutes, the, that time is zero, now it's 12. And Buru and research centers, that time zero, and now it's 56. So these are the, some uh, sculpture in the, the University of Dhaka, because all of the movements against the British, against the Pakistan, and other things, so always lead by the Pakistan, the Dhaka University students took the lead. So this is the Shahid Minar. The persons died in the language movement for the to, to remembering them. So we they have the monument, and this is the symbol of the uh, uh, how do I say the after the our liberation war, and this is the some anti-terrorism. So the gathered together. So this is the, some important areas. This is the Noab Ali Choudhury Sinat Bhavan. He was the founder by his name. This was built up. Kumasa Sensei was state thus, maybe say, <laughs> this building. And this is that, uh, our teacher student center. <coughs> this is a very, all, this, all, all the times the teacher, we have some cafeteria and library inside and theater like this. So this is the, uh, the uh, all the times the teachers and students up to the night or nine or ten, they are just um, gathered to here. And we have some libraries. This is the central library, this is our science library, and this is the e library. So other facilities. We have the some uh, gymnasium and ground fields. Uh, this is the residence of the boys. Some residents. This is the uh, residence for the girls, and. We have some school bus, so for the to, because the sometimes Dhaka is very you know the traffic jam, so we have maybe more than hundred buses for different routes they go for to just pick up the students. Uh, all the buses the same color, and the only the students can ride on. So this is some research centers. So just uh, the common instruments are there. This is also. Some this is a Bosch Center by the naming of the Bosch. I just mentioned Bosch Einstein theory. He's by his name, Center of Advanced Studies, Center of the Research, like this, different kinds of research centers. So this is the uh, Department of Mind. So this is the Department of Applied Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, uh, Faculty of Engineering, and this is my department. So this department was built, on, built up in 1972. So we offered the degrees, a BSc in Applied Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, MSc, and Phil. So you may not uh, be uh, familiar to the term MPhil. So this is two years uh, degrees. This is MPhil, uh, Master of Philosophy like this. And PhD, uh, the number of faculties is uh, 41. And the number of current students is the BSc, and the first grade to fourth grade, we have the 263, and MSc is the 91, and a good number of MPhil and PhD uh, students get enrolled every year. So this is our classroom, and this is um, uh, the laboratory. Uh, just just uh, uh, the symbolic one I want to show. 
Well, this is our, what kind of research we did, though usually different kinds of, uh, we have some laboratories to do some research. So this is the water treatment, membrane technology, nanotechnology, material science, organic and bioorganic chemistry, biofuel, this kind of chemistry research in our department. So different teachers are involved. So I just want to show the, the Bangladesh-Japan relationship. The Bangladesh is the, um, uh, the comprehensive, comprehensive partnership with Japan because uh, to know, you know the, to build up this nation, especially our nation, the huge involvement of Japan government in education, in infrastructure. So without the Japanese help, maybe it is, it is impossible. So they, they help us a lot to develop our infrastructure as well as China also. But uh, Japan is the biggest partner. The single large, largest bilateral development partner, top export destination in Asia, the seven globally. So, and the investment by Japanese companies is around USD 3 billion per year. So the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, the present Prime Minister of our country, has visited Japan 10, 2014, 16, and 19. And Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Bangladesh in 2014. The Bangladesh-Japan some relationship. So if we see here the trade volume of Bangladesh in Japan, the second largest export uh, ready-made garments. The, after the China, the Bangladesh is the second position. The, the bilateral trade is about $3 billion. Export growth is about 2017-18 was 11.73. And export was $1.36 billion in 2018 to 19. And uh, this is the export basket to Japan. These things uh, we ex export to Japan. Recently, uh, Bangladesh is developing, it is a higher developing model. It was the developing country, the recent days it becomes the higher developing country. So uh, the, we have the target in for 2041, it will be developed country. So this kinds of uh, materials actually we export to Japan. So nature of beauties in Bangladesh. So Tourism drive here. Why Bangladesh? Because the Bangladeshi people are friendly, welcoming, hospitable, hospitable, and uh, foreigners friendly population, uh, and rich culture and heritage, colorful festivals, off track destination, um, unusual and uh, new at activities for tourists, and mukashi no neon. So, so this is the, our new year, and this is we know that we have some lot of spaces with several hundred, thousands of rivers, so a uh, lot of sightseeing places in the rural area. But uh, if you can just see the Dhaka city, is, it's horrible. But uh, the rural area is more beautiful, and it's very nice. And uh, some attractions. Now, these are the, the Royal Bengal Tiger. You know the. Uh, rural uh, tourism, heritage tourism, and a trip down to the memory land, Buddhist tourism, river cruise, Sundarban surprise, and uh, Dhaka rides. This is the southeast area of the, this kind of, this is the one the lake. It's a very beautiful lake. And uh, this kind of, this is the river, and they use this kind of cloths, just for not, not any engine, just uh, the natural flow the using the current f f wind so the sightseeing spots the world heritage uh, in the in Jap in the especially the mosque city of the baguette hut this is the 60 pillars over there this is the unesco it, it declared the world heritage in 1983 as i show you this is the ruins of the buddhist bihar paharpur this is the 300 kilometer far away from the Dhaka. So actually it is a very nice place. A uh, lot of, I, I'm very surprised uh, when I went there. So it was very, two, more than 2000 years ago it was built up. So what an ar ar architecture. And this is the Sundarbans. So uh, this is the, um, the largest mangrove in the world. So if you go, this several canals over inside this. So if someone go without any compass, so maybe he cannot. It is difficult for him to return back. 
So some sightseeing places in the Dhaka city. This is the Star Mosque. It's old, very old. This is the Lalbagh Fort. This is the uh, Emperor. This is the fort. Even uh, some fort, some roads, the down underground. So we cannot go there. This is very, very huge. And this is the Hazan Manjil. This is all, sometimes it is called Pink Palace. And this is our, our National Assembly of Bangladesh. The, the um, parliament members are here. And this is the Bangabandhu Memorial Museum. And uh, this is the Shohid Minar, the language movements the, for this. And uh, the other side seeing sports, this is the, the Cox's Bazaar. The, we know that we have only one sea, but the, it's the biggest sea beach in the world. 156 kilometer long without broken. The whole, this is the whole country plus through the big, big uh, sea. So inside the sea, we've, we have some lot of, uh, we distinctly recover that there are a lot of gases, methane gas over there. So, so always the China, America, and India just uh, are interested about our ports. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an island. This is, um, uh, we have uh, inside the, from the uh, on small island here. This is this color is very beautiful and this is very nice. There there is no electricity over there, so only nature. So, and this is the uh, Rath Shahi. There are another. So some professor will come to come and say, yeah, this is the natural Rajbari, and Shundarbans. This is this one. This is the Silet, The tea. The tea is very popular in our country. This, we have some tea gardens. Lot of tea gardens. So these trees are also delicious. So this is the Barandra Museum of Rajshahi. So the best part of our being Bangladeshi is to the very, be very simple, be very friendly, have hospitality, hospitability, and have strong family bonding. So actually, we have the extended families. In the recent days, the uh, we are in the city people are just nuclear family, but in the uh, village areas, we have uh, extended families, the father, grandfather, mother, grandmother, and whole family live together, very big family. So our family bindings is also very strong. So the people are uh, even poor, but uh, always they are very smiling face. Uh, they are actually, the people of our country is very simple, and they are har they like harmony. They have no high ambitions, but some peoples, Especially the, um, the political peoples are very corrupted. This is the, uh, unfortunately, because they have the power to build up the country smoothly, but they have a the, they, they lot of records against them of corruption, corruption. So some positive and negatives. The positive is the plain land, easy to live. The negative is the mismanagement. The fertile land, easy to cultivate but overpopulation, negative. And uh, we have natural resources like gas, oil, minerals, ocean, river, etc. but uh, major negative side of the floods. And uh, no extreme weather, no snowfall or no desert heat, but the problem is the pollution. The export items like garments, pharmaceuticals, tree, etc. The problem is the unemployment. So thank you everybody for for kind of